We have understandably heard a lot about the first two authorized COVID-19 vaccines in recent weeks, but there are currently 63 vaccines in human clinical trials with 18 in the final stages of testing. There's also another 85 being tested in animals. So what does the availability of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines mean for all of those other trials? Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a closer look at this important issue. Doc? Yeah, Kim and Jason. So, you know, remember, the first vaccines are not necessarily going to ultimately turn out to be the best vaccines. Other vaccines that are still in development, they could work better for certain groups like children, for example, or maybe they have qualities that make them more practical, like the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. That only requires one dose. But as more people become eligible for the currently authorized vaccines, continuing those other vaccine trials, well, that becomes more challenging. When we were all on lockdown and quarantined at home, I was looking for some type of way that I could be helpful and contribute. Brandon Kenick has been part of the Inovio vaccine phase one trial since the spring. The trial included 48 people who all received vaccine. Kenick says he still wants to get an authorized vaccine when it's available. I believe that my vaccine is effective, but it still hasn't received final approval and it's not through phase three testing. But to do so, he must drop out of the Inovio trial. They discuss that with you, and they understand, too, that uh, part of the end goal is to get as many Americans vaccinated with whatever is available at the time. Principal investigator Dr. John Irvin says participant dropouts are a dilemma he's anticipated since trials began. From the science standpoint, we would like to keep everybody in the trials and follow them through. However, it's ultimately up to the participant. These studies are voluntary, and I think uh, we have to have what's best for the individual. Uh, as our main interest. Because of the slow rollout of the vaccines, Irvin says by the time trial dropouts happen next year, most trials underway now would hopefully have the data they need to keep moving forward. But trials starting later could have a tough time finding participants. When it comes to an authorized vaccine, his message is clear. Get the darn vaccine when one becomes available. Now, both Pfizer and Moderna have expressed their desire to allow their placebo groups to get vaccinated and hopefully remain in the clinical trials for follow-up. Now, as vaccine becomes more widely available, it will certainly be more difficult to test other vaccines. Back to you. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.